this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Icon Airframe helmet. Now, I have three styles sitting in front of me. I have a solid, I have one of the new carbon fiber life forms, and I have a graphic which came out in 2009 called the Death or Glory. Now, basically, from an application standpoint, you're going to look at this helmet and notice that it has a great, a great aggressive shape to it. This is primarily built to be a sport and street riding helmet. Also, one of the big claims the fame with the airframe is that it's going to be much cooler than a lot of other helmets in its class, and that's due to the way that it takes in air and ventilates through the helmet. But I'm going to get to that in a second. So basically, from 2008 through today, the helmets have gone from being your DOT, Snell 2005, and ECE rated to now the newer world standard, which we seem to be permeating a lot of the helmet world. So as I get into features, one of the big things that we talked about with the airframe, which is going to be really Icon's flagship ship helmet. If you guys remember from Icon's inception, they had the mainframe, they had the domain, the domain 2. The airframe has now replaced all of those and is their leading helmet. Basically what you're going to realize, the first big feature out of the box, is it's going to breathe much better than anything else in the Icon line and probably better than about 80% of the other helmets that we have. This is due to these tool chimney vents on the front here, I don't know if you can come in tight and see them, and the way they vent through the EPS. In most helmets, you're going to have an EPS liner that has straight drilled holes for protection that would go straight down to your head. Now what happens when you have straight drilled holes is that you have to have a lot of airflow, a lot of external pressure. You have to be going at a higher rate of speed to have the forced air on the outside push through, push through the EPS, turn 90 degrees and go straight to your head. What's so different about the airframe is that you have laser etched channels at 45 degrees which go in through the vent, or the, the intake rather, and they almost take a much more direct path to your head. So what you basically get is a higher degree of airflow at lower speeds more of the time. What does that translate to? A cooler head, a less sweaty head, a less fatigued head, and longer riding in hot weather scenarios. Now that being said, I'm going to show you how these operate. Cold weather, you're just going to be able to close a vent like any other helmet. It's not going to affect anything. This helmet, just because it flows more in hot weather times, doesn't mean that it's going to make you colder um, when the vents are closed during the uh, cooler times of the year. You're going to notice on the back as well, as I, as I come around here, or on the front rather, I have also have a chin vent. You can see open and closed. It's red or it's not red. It's a, it's a little bit of a small control with a glove on, but once you know exactly how it works, it's pretty easy to operate. You'll also notice as I flip it around on the back that we have rear exhaust for that great Venturi effect that's going to pull hot, wear, hot, hot air out of the back of the helmet at speed. You know, it basically creates a vacuum behind the helmet as you get the airflow going through it. You have that under the, chin, the rear spoiler. Now, hitting on that rear spoiler brings us to the next great feature of this helmet. It's very aerodynamic. You notice it's a, it's a reasonable oval shape. It's got a nice aerodynamic sweep to it. The external pieces, the venting, and this rear wing add to the stability of the helmet. You also have some winglets down here at the bottom. At speed, you're going to notice it's very quiet and it's also very stable. This rear wing, which comes off actually with, I believe, seven pounds of pressure, so in a crash situation, you don't have to worry about it catching anything. It does break away. Another reason why you don't actually want to pick the helmet up by it. But basically, it's going to create downforce. It makes the, uh, it makes makes the helmet feel lighter and more stable at speed even during head checks. It's going to just add in that aggressive, you have to think about sport bike riding position. You got to believe at best you're going to, or at worst you're ever going to be here. Some guys are going to be here. So you notice when you're in that position you're going to get that great effect that's going to minimize the pull off the back of your head when you're wearing the helmet. <clears throat> Another feature of this helmet is going to be the eye port and the shield. It's using Icon's Pro Shield. Icon's Pro Shield comes in a ton of different tints, a ton of different mirrored finishes, a lot of options here, and it's going to fit all of your uh, airframes. You notice it's got a nice wide air port. It has strong detents, so it stays open and closed where it's supposed to be. You also have the Icon Pro Lock system, so when you put it down and snap it, it's going to aid in keeping that the, the uh, shield down when you're doing high-speed head checks. Notice the periphery on this guy. It's nice and wide. You have a, a nice diffuser in here, a breath guard. Um, you can see it's just well designed. The fit and finish on this guy are really nice. So as I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it over. Now again, this is the carbon fiber that I'm working on. That's that's new for 2010. You're gonna notice it's reasonably stiff. And when you come in here tight on the guts, go ahead and come in tight on the guts here, Nick. It's a hydro dry wicking liner. It's antimicrobial. 
It's basically the closest thing that we have to microfiber in any of the helmets we sell. It's really nice. Again, it's when, when you get into a helmet that's in this price range, it's protective, it's light, but it really comes into the creature comforts. What's touching your face? How well is it going to perform in an active situation or hot weather environment? How comfortable can you be for long distance? You notice you have the breath guard here, the diffuser as well down here. You have additional venting. These guys are fully removable, fully washable, fully swappable. Icon does offer different interiors that you can buy to either change the color or change the size. You notice things very easily just come right apart. It's just like any other high-end helmet in the sense of it's fully removable, you sweat in it for a couple days at a time, wash it in the sink, put it back, let it dry, hand dry it, and then you'll be good to go. Now as far as the shield change mechanism goes on this helmet, it's actually pretty easy. You're going to notice these side pods, and a lot of people have heard some horror stories about some of the older Arai side pods that have permeated the helmet uh, landscape for a long time. Icon said, you know what, the, the side pods look great, they, they hide the shield change and shield detent uh, mechanisms, but what we're going to do is we're going to make them completely cosmetic. They're not going to attach to the helmet, they actually they attach to the shield itself, you'll notice when I pull it up. And then to pull this shield off, it's very easy as well. You notice, come in tight here, there's an orange switch and all you really do is you pull that orange switch forward, I'm going to do here. Oop, the shield has to be all the way up and the pot and the shield comes right off. You're going to notice that all you have to do to put it back on is just make sure you're completely lined up. You can do it with the other side real quick and show you that hopefully this one will be a little easier. There you go. That quickly. I was grabbing it wrong the first time. But there you go. To put it back on, you just make sure it's in the open position. You put the in the open position, you put the shield back on and you just pop it back into place. It snaps and you're good to go. Now basically as I did mention, the, there are two carbon fibers that are new for 2010. There are 20 different graphics which span 2008, 2009, and 2010 models. We have three colors. We also have that great icon rubberized Rubitone, which this actually has a graphic on top of Rubitone um, in the death and glory. Prices are going to start from the Alliance 7 Seal, which is on sale right now for $223 all the way up to your normal range, uh, you know, non-on sale Icon airframes, which are gonna be in that 325 to 375 range. And then for the carbon fiber, which is 1,450 grams, which is extremely light, you're looking at about $550 for these guys. Now, if you have any questions about the Icon airframe lineup, is there, if there's any, any questions about how these guys function, how they compare to any of the other helmets that we carry, feel free to give us a ring. We're happy to break that down for you. Remember with us that uh, basically we're gonna ship this guy for free. It's over 39 bucks. If you decide you wanna, uh, if you know it's a medium oval head shape, but you decide you wanna take a stab at shape without trying it on first and you get the wrong size, we'll exchange the first one for free for you as well. So we offer free shipping on the first return. And then like anything over hundred bucks on RevZilla, you have the ability to earn up to 5% back in TeamZilla Cash towards your next order. Order. Shoot us a line, cs at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. I'm Anthony. Thanks for watching today. We hope you find out everything you need to know as you're making a great buying decision on an Icon Airframe helmet. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV.